Hey folks, thanks for joining. Uh, this is Kenny from Eagle Eye Shooting. And uh, today we're just gonna see about getting close to finalizing the load development on the 140 grain Hornady bullet to hollow point using IMR 4451 in the 6.5 Creedmoor. Uh, in the last videos, I went over the brass prepping and uh, checking out the lead eyes to see how well they do against the concentricity gauge. And uh, surprisingly, they did pretty good. So if you're interested about that, go ahead and check out that video. But today we're gonna to shoot some ladder charges that I found a little bit of an accuracy node. Um, we're gonna start off at 41.1 grains, and I am seated at 25 thousandths off the lands on my uh, my uh, rifle. So uh, let's go ahead, let's get shooting, and I'll see what these do. Okay, up first I'm gonna be shooting 41.1 grains, cold bore, cold shooter. So I'm gonna aim at the middle of the top target. I'll take you guys down there. All right, here is the first three shots. Uh, the cold bore shot was the one that hit low, and then the uh, other two up here. The chronograph only registered two shots for some reason. Um, out of those two shots, it gave me a four standard deviation number. So off to a good start. Uh, let's continue on. All right, guys, up next is 41.5 grains. Um, this was what I found as an accuracy node, so let's see what these do. All right, uh, accuracy took the turn for the worse. And I had one, looks like a, a flyer, it was the first shot. Uh, for some reason, that was, um, I was way lower on FBS, and that gave me a pretty high standard deviation number. Uh, without that shot, taking, a, taking the count, uh, the standard deviation would be eight out of those two shots. So, um, let's continue on. All right, let's shoot uh, 41.7 grains. And um, I'm gonna shoot at the bottom left. Not sure what's going on. A two group here, one fly way over here, so I don't know. All right, let's go on with uh, 41.9. So 41.9, I was aiming here, and it shot off target and gave me a pretty tight group. It's like two in one hole. Uh, that could have been me, but that was... Uh, so the first shot was here, the second shot was here, the last shot was there. And uh, the last shot was a little slower, gave me a high, pretty high standard deviation number from that. So I'm not sure what's going on. It's probably powder and primer related. But um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shoot the last set, which is 42.2 grains. And I'll aim up here in the middle. All right, I got one more set left. I'm not sure what's really going on as far as um, that one flyers I keep having on the three shot groups. This was the second shot. So the first shot was here, second shot landed here, and the third shot came right back. And this was about two FPS uh, deviance from the first shot. So definitely either either something primer um, related or powder related, I'm not really sure. So, but um, that's, not, that's looking pretty good. Um, I'm up there at 2,800 FPS, which is uh, pretty good for a small rifle primer. I was not expecting to have that big of a velocity jump switching over to CCI 250 Magnum primers. So I got one more set left and it is 42.5 grains. And uh, just to be safe, I'm gonna shoot over here on the left. All right, so a little bit confused with what's going on, but I'm getting the velocities I wanna achieve. And the last uh, groups of 42.2 grains, uh, got a little bit of a flat primer, it's not too bad. I'll show you guys. Still a pretty good rounded edge on it. There's a, it's a not too high pressure sign. I got cratering going on, but that seems to be the normal thing for uh, folks using small rifle prime brass in this uh, cartridge. So let's shoot the last set. This is uh, 42.5 grains, and uh, let's see what this does. Okay, last groups horizontal stringing, 42 and a half, still in a double digit standard deviation number. So well, from here, I guess I could play around with, uh, let's see, uh, this accuracy node looks like uh, that was uh, 42, shoot, 41.9, sorry, 41.9 grains. And uh, mess around with the seating depth, see if that will lower the, the SD numbers and the stream spread. But that's a pretty good group. And also the first shots that we did uh, at the cold bore, 41.1 grains. So uh, I'll work with these two loads. And I work with a seating depth starting at 25 thousandths off the land and uh, work in uh, 5 thousandths at a time. 
I'm at the velocity I, I want, so I'm, I'm pretty happy about trying out some CCI 250s. So I'll probably stick with that. Um, but I uh, really hope uh, I can lower those standard deviation numbers. Uh, again, um, I'll throw up the, chrono, the chronograph numbers. Really weird. I mean, you can see out of, you know, they're just three shot groups. But out of those three shots, there's always one that gave a, a lower velocity on a majority of those loads. So I'm not sure what's going on. Um, it could be me on my reloading technique or it could be primer or powder related, but at least I'm kind of on the right track. And I'm gonna continue plugging away at this and hopefully we can get a load. Well guys, I really appreciate you guys sticking around, watching and seeing what I'm doing on my load development. Uh, this is a whole different ball game, going and getting into a more precision cartridge like the 6.5. Uh, 4451 is being a little finicky for me for now, but um, it's showing a little bit of promise, so I'm just gonna plug away at it, work with a little bit more factors. I'm having a little bit of frustration, yet some fun at the same time. So, uh, again, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for sticking around. If you have any comments, suggestions, feedback, throw a comment below. Let me know what you guys think. Other than that, guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. And uh, stay tuned for uh, some more uh, 6.5 Creedmore series. And I got some cool uh, footage as well coming up with the new AR 6x45, uh, basically the 6mm uh, 223. So, stick around. Stay tuned. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. <laughs> you try to sneak through. Instant karma. It's not going to let him because his bike is stuck. He got yeah, shot. You have to back up and go in this one. He got judo chopped. You got judo chopped. <laughs>